This next problem is titled Monk and Sorting Algorithm. Let's have a look at the question. Monk recently taught Fredo about sorting. Now he wants to check whether Fredo understood the concept or not. So he gave him the following algorithm. We're going to consider the rightmost digit to be index one, the second digit to be index two, and so on. We're counting from the right to the left. The ith chunk consists of the first five digits from the right. So the first chunk means we take five digits from the right. The second chunk means we take digits six to 10 from the right. What we've got to do is construct the ith chunk, sort it, and then change the parent array to this new order. Let's have a closer look at the question. Here we can see the parent array. It's an array of length three. First, we take the five rightmost digits. That is five, six, seven, eight, nine from the first number, six, seven, eight, nine, zero from the second number, and five, six, seven, eight, nine from the third number. Now we've got to sort this new array that becomes five, six, seven, eight, nine, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Now, which number corresponds to the first five, six, seven, eight, nine? That's two, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The second five, six, seven, eight, nine corresponds to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And six, seven, eight, nine, zero corresponds to one, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Now, whenever this happens, when we've got two numbers that are equal, we've got to preserve the same order as the parent array. In the parent array, two, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine comes before one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that order has to be preserved in our answer. Now we print this result, but we don't stop here. That's because we can proceed even further. This is the new array. We've already taken the five digits from the right. So now we've got to take the next five digits. The first number will give us two, one, three, four. And since it's a five digit number, we just say zero, two, one, three, four. The next number gives us one, two, three, four, or zero, one, two, three, four. And the final number gives us zero, 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 one. Once we sort it in ascending order, we get one, one, two, three, four, and two, one, three, four. One corresponds to one, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. One, two, three, four corresponds to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And two, one, three, four corresponds to two, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This will be the second line of our output. Now we can't move anymore. We've already considered each and every single chunk. So at this point, our execution terminates and we simply return our answer. So our answer will consist of two lines. The first line will be this right here. And the second line will be this. Major props to Radha Shashank for coming up with this solution. So this while loop is the bulk of the code. While we're sorting the array, we make sure to mention the key. The key tells us to only consider the last five digits of each number. After this step, the array will be sorted according to the aforementioned key. Now we've got to increase our multiplier. Our multiplier makes sure that five digits are eliminated from the end in each step. Initially, there's no digit that's eliminated. After the first step, we eliminate the last five digits. That is by dividing it by 10 power five. This keeps going on until we cannot proceed any further. At each step, we print the new array. Here we can see sample has been passed and once we press submit, it has been accepted. Now guys, this is a classic example of a problem where you don't have to type in any logic if there's already a predefined function that does the work for you. Now, there's a good chance that you may not know it because there are hundreds, there are thousands of functions in Python and in any coding language. But if you do, it goes by a lot faster. It's been Vivek. Hit the three buttons and I'll see you all next time.